Hi, everybody. Welcome to another exciting adventure in podcasting. Delighted, so delighted on this episode to be talking with comics creator Philip Tan. May I call you Philip? Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Absolute pleasure to be here, man. Yeah, yeah. Glad to have you. Thanks for saying yes. We were talking just ahead of a, a holiday of mashed up foods, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thanks for making some time to to jump in and chat. Always, always. Yeah. I, I usually start out with a few titles that sort of help the listeners get situated and go, oh, yeah, that's the person who. But you've created such a, a list I mean, there there's quite a lot of work that I might shout out. So let me just see if I can hit some highlights, and then uh, if you want to to mention a couple I'll of others be, as we I'll talk. I'll be in your care. I'll be in your okay. care. But it, it, to be to be to be fair, though, I I I am relatively new compared to a lot of the the, the veterans and legends in our industry. So true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but nevertheless, prolific uh, magic. Final Thank Crisis, you. Hawkman, Batman and Robin, Ronan, Spawn, Outsiders, and uh, I also like some of those where you you get to create in sort of an issue or two. So James Bond, Shadowhawk, uh, John Carter. So well, many, a lot of so the other ones. ones, a lot of the the the, the projects, um, I I never actually did to draw. I never got to draw the interiors or tell the story, but I did a lot of covers for them. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the uh, single issues that I did do, I'm very proud of, you know, um, especially Shadowhawk. Now that, you know, yeah. let, let's start there. You know, you, you now that you brought that up, um, I'm very proud yeah. of Shadowhawk. Uh, I, um, when I started reading comic books before I, 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 I got or discovered all these um, big names, you know, your Todd McFarlane, your Jim Lee's and everyone, Mm -hmm. You know, um, the only person, the only comic book artist I know was Jim Valentino, yes. and 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 to the to the eleven year old, he blew my mind and 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 made made me just like forever addicted to comic books. So, yeah. so you know, forever thankful to Jim. And when 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 it, the opportunity came up that I uh, got the chance to uh, to contribute that one issue, I. I was ready to 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 um, fight someone if, if he's got someone else, you know, on it. But but now I very proud of that. Yeah, very, very yeah. proud of it. As well, you should be. And um, we were talking a little bit before I hit the record button about our histories with comics. And so I started reading when I was about seven. And it, it was Batman that first got me in and the Batman film as well as the comics. And it wasn't too long after that. I mean, by just a few years, that uh, image really took off. And I remember the, just seeing this issue of Shadowhawk and thinking, oh, that's a character I'm going to like just based on the cover alone. Uh, you're talking about being a cover artist as well. Um, mm -hmm. And so, uh, I mean, those covers definitely make a difference. But uh, a character that I gravitated to immediately uh, before I before I knew who made comics and before I knew to check out the masthead, uh, I knew that that was a, a title that I would be attracted to and enjoyed very much. Yeah, man, I... I uh... For, for me, it was the the, the, the cosmic heroes. Um, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, the, the, the first comic I ever collected was was Guardians of the Galaxy by Jim Valentino, yes, and, and yes. that's what really got me into it. Uh, you know, I, I grew up in the Philippines. Um, you know, English was taught in school, but was not my my native tongue. You know, so so um, if, if 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 there were no comic books, I, I, I'm gonna guess I, I probably wouldn't be able to. Uh, 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 have this conversation um you know i just i wouldn't be able to 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 talk fluently yeah yeah you know i i think um uh i i, I have good teachers back then but um i i i, ha I have to say I, I might have to think the comic books a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, and um, I was a, a student that I would sort of play the school game. And if you gave me something to read, I would kind of read it because I had to. But when I could go home and read the things that I wanted to read, uh, it, it was comics. 
and continues to be comics, comics related material, science fiction, things like that. So uh, not only great for for building readers, but also keeping them and keeping them active. So I, I think we have a mutual appreciation for the world of comics. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and I, I, I think comic books, um, whether it be American comic books or comic books of, 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 of you know, respective regions, kind of is the, the best way to get younger people into, you know, starting to read and, and, and imagine uh, stories and, and get, get, get uh, uh, absorbed into, into fiction and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. So I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it like going from the reader side to then entering into the, the creative side of comics for you? I, I don't think I remember how that felt. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it really was just, I, I know this is probably the only thing I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, it was, it was, it, it, it was, it was, there was no guarantee um, back then there were no, um, the, the, the net was just beginning, you know, the, the World Wide web was just beginning and you, you had to go to a convention to, uh, to, 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 to meet an editor and do submissions and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and very unlikely if you, if you live all the, all the way there and, and, you know, um, but it's the only thing I want to do. And, 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 you know, you spent hours, countless hours, uh, practicing, and and it's still at the same time consuming whatever's coming out because that's you know you love it. Yeah. Um. So I I don't think to, to answer your question I don't think there was a there was a a a a a feeling where you know that things have changed that you're not you're you know you're you're you're, you're professional now. Now I I I I don't think about it. I I don't think I feel it. Yeah. I do yeah. think that you know you um you you you, you kind of you kind of do you feel that okay? I, I, it's it's allowed me to kind of provide for myself, so mm -hmm. I have a responsibility to to do this as a job now, and not because it was just fun. Of course, it needs to still be fun, but <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, that and that's something you were talking about um, creators from from way back, le legendary creators that yeah. uh, you and I both grew up reading. And I remember talking with um, one creator in particular on this show. And he was talking about, well, when I went out to lunch and I looked over and there was this person and we were all having lunch together. But I imagine that that is different given the age of technology of uh, putting things on, onto a digital format, sharing them. So you, I'm sure you've collaborated with a lot of people that you've not had the chance to actually really go to lunch with or um, yeah. sort of be yeah. in the same physical space as. Yeah. Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, you know, you, you, but, but in a, in a way I, I, I envy that time where people actually build a relationship with mm -hmm. someone they see in person, um, you know, it, it it comes with a lot of a lot of uh, uh, uh how do you say it uh restrictions. Obviously, you 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 get more you're exposed to more talents and, and more you know uh, 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 things for you to collaborate with because of the internet. Mm -hmm. But the you 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 have lesser human connection. And, and probably creative connection with that individual that you were working with um, when you, and I, 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 I don't know how to prove it, but I think if you see someone in person, there's just this back and forth, especially with creative stuff that, that you can't get when you're just seeing them like on, on, on just communicating through emails or, or yeah. anything that's, that's electronic. Yeah, yeah. Well, with with that idea of human connections in mind, um, I am curious about folks that have been uh, those foundational people or collaborators or um, sort sort of the folks who, when they reach out, you go, "Oh, yes, I get to collaborate with this person again." Uh, anybody like that that you've connected with? Um, I mean, I, Frank's got to be like one of the guys, like Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane are, are, are big heroes of mine. They're the very popular, uh, uh, creators, legendary creators. Um, and, and, and personally, 
you know, just being able to do that one book with Jim Valentino, like mm -hmm. that's a bucket list thing for me, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, if I think if, if I'm not sure if I'm going on tangent and, 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 or straying from the topic, but I feel like doing, you know, that connection with creators in a way is, 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 it's a different way of connecting that you're also you're supposed to do with your readers. Mm -hmm. um, that's why when you, when you go to conventions and you do see people come up to you and, 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 and appreciate your work, you know, um, it just, it just, it just feels different. Yeah. Feels, whatever hardship that you have to go through getting those done, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and those three names in particular, I mean, Todd McFarlane, um, Frank Miller and Jim Valentino, it's that's the top of the industry, really. Uh, it's a pretty impressive list of collaborators. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm sure everyone have their like people they have to, do, you know, work with um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before they can, you know, hold a pen anymore and grow old and can't. Can't, can't be creative anymore um so for for me those are those guys are it you know there's 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 a very 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 grateful to have uh those experience yeah yeah um so spawn definitely being one of those those mile markers um ronan being another mile marker any other mile marker titles uh or characters that you would mention okay. there's there's a lot i mean there's there's way too many i think um being able to, it started with Spawn. I mean, there's 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 all these great people that I've worked with, but but Spawn was the first book that really, and Todd, I I guess more accurately, Todd was the first person that I've worked with that allowed me to be more visible to mm -hmm. to people and 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 I guess in a way m m better appreciated, you know, um, and. You know, working with Grant Morrison was another one um, mm -hmm. on Batman and Robin, and 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 obviously Todd. I mean, uh, uh, Frank. Mm -hmm. You know, um, which was pretty recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronan was twenty twenty two. Is that right? Yeah, twenty two. Um, I think that the 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 last issue comes out this month or maybe next month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm they, sure they, they do. They, they do everything else. I, I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> but in the in the creative life, you're probably focused on the things that are coming out beyond at this point uh, as well, because I know that's yeah, sort of the, yeah. the there, editorial there lead. Things. Yeah, yeah. There are a few things that that um, I um, I'm under NDA, which I can't talk about. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm I'm focusing more on my my stuff. I still have a few you know, super fun things that are, are that, that, that I'm freelancing, you know, I work for hire, but, but um, a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now are for myself. So. Nice. Nice. That's, that's a good balance to have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a hero for hire <laughs> as well as uh, the, the passion projects as well. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and curious about, you mentioned sort of the bucket list with Jim Valentino. Any other creators' worlds that you'd like to create in? It's way too many. I, <laughs> I, I think if you're if you're a comic book fan, mm -hmm. that's just like a, a, a really bad question for them because they would tell you <laughs> everything, like literally everything. Because I think us. Uh, if, if you love comic books, you just want to draw your version of this character and that character and that character and maybe try to draw with this guy's script or that guy's layout. I mean, a plot and that guy's storytelling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so just way too many, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. yeah I, I, I don't think there's, there's anyone who does not want to work with Alan Moore, but obviously sure. that I think he's retired, right? I, I have no idea. I think he's kind of retired from comic books. He's just I, doing, I suppose. You know, so. um, I think that was, uh, that's, that, that was, uh, the, the the situation right now but um but now i there's way too many yeah, unfortunately uh, uh i might fail this question i i, I can't give there, you a there is answer. no passing answer <laughs> everybody is a perfectly fine answer yeah there you go <laughs> yeah i like everybody <laughs>
<laughs> comics it is yeah, comics yeah. anytime i love it um yeah there, there is no wrong answer by any means um and, and also curious about so that process of getting the page and then getting to turn it into to life uh, i've talked with a couple of folks who have been really surprised in that process and have that moment of uh, you get it back or you get something and it just is a really interesting direction you didn't expect so any experiences like that where you've gotten something and it's written there and you go oh i get to draw this oh yeah I, actually the you know the the surprises come less from the the script because mm -hmm. you know uh you you know it's never going to be exactly the same and and you already know that the story is going to go a certain way mm -hmm. you know you love it that's why you work you're working on it um but the surprises comes when you know your art partners your whether it be the ink the the, the inkers the finishes the you know the embellishers or or your colors that come comes back with 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 great treatment of what you've you know envisioned yeah that's where that's 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 the most rewarding yeah you know so for for me it's it's like right now i'm working with with you know uh, uh daniel enriquez is is my uh you know, our art partner, you know, with, with line works, you know, um, I, I don't even want to call him an inker because whatever he's doing is beyond what inkers do. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's my 50%. I'm, I'm the 50% of art. He's the other 50% of art. And, 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 and then, you know, um, you, you see color, you know, your color artist that comes in and colors your work and, and they surprise you even further. So, so right now, those are the biggest surprises I get is, is, is from the visuals. Love it, love it. So in a good way, surprise in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and what you said there also just makes me think about the collaborative nature of comics and how important yeah. each one of those parts is from the pencils to the line work uh, or yeah. embellishing to the coloring because it all comes together um, and really comes together nicely too when you have a, a good mix and a good team. Yeah, you know, you you, you everyone works different ways. You know, certain people are are they they want to be more involved with with everyone and mm -hmm. other people want to be be left alone you know so you know everyone would have their own secret techniques and if you may <laughs> but uh but i i like i I'm, I'm the nosy person so i like being able to hear what what my partners would say what what kind of changes they want to do yeah. and 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 enjoy it so yeah yeah well um one final official question i'm also yeah. gonna gonna give a shout out to some folks that you mentioned todd mcfarlane uh jim valentino for just the work they do in showcasing comics and uh even building that fandom because i, I think about like the action figure work that todd mcfarlane has spearheaded and uh i mean light years beyond the, the figures that i had as a, as a kid yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah they're, uh, they're giants they're giants and and they're they are they are the very reason a lot of you know especially people my age creators my age are are making comic books is because of that mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely um so curious about upcoming events slash um, spaces I... I don't have any more shows, uh, local shows in the in 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 the United States, but I do have one show in Japan, um, roughly around New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's 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 comic at it's a winter comic at, and uh, it's it's debatable being the biggest show on the planet because um, I think the, the uh, during its peak um, a few years back there were seven hundred fifty thousand people attending it. Wow. And and um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure maybe there is a bigger show out there just I, I that I just don't know about. Um, but I love this show. Uh, and and I'm I'm doing it again this year. You know, um, haven't been back there since the pandemic. So yeah, but that that, that would be it. Um, hopefully, you know, unfortunately, I can't talk about the next projects, but hopefully, mm -hmm. people will uh keep an eye out and and if it does come out, uh, you know, support it. Yeah, yeah, and we know it's going to be good. We know it's going to be oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, web spaces where people can see. 
Uh, I'm mostly on Instagram. Uh, yeah. You know, Facebook, I would post um, just artworks. I, I don't really, I'm not very active or share my personal life on social media. So yeah. Yeah. Facebook and Instagram mostly mostly are, are, my, uh, are my artworks. Fantastic. I think that's just one of the best uses for social media, personally. So I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then I've got, and now I have comic books is, is enough addiction. I, I don't need another one. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, yeah. Well, anything that we've missed in the talk through Philip that you want to make sure to to share before we close? Oh, I know. I'm I'm good, man. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully more kids would read comic books. I'm sure you're you're on the same page. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're we're putting the comic books out there, putting them on the classroom shelf. Using yeah. them here and there, uh, absolutely, and spreading the the good news of the books that changed my life by all means. Yeah. No, I I think if I if I do win the lottery, I'll, I'll make sure I print books for schools for free. Yeah, you yeah, <laughs> yeah. They may, maybe they won't be collectible. They they would have a few quality notches down, but I think that as long as the kids can enjoy the story and the art, that's all that matters. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and I appreciate getting to bring uh, voices to the classroom. So appreciate what you're doing in the, the world of comics and thanks for the Thank time. You, yeah. Yeah. My Thank pleasure. You. Yeah. Uh, you. Glad to talk anytime. Glad to have you back anytime. Uh, just let me know.